Hi church family, welcome back. I hope you guys had an awesome week. So today we're gonna learn about a woman named Hannah and we're gonna learn about, all about praying and how powerful prayer is. So this story is called Hannah Prayed. Once a year, Anna would take his family to Shiloh to worship God and offer sacrifices. Hannah was sad and wouldn't eat because she and her husband Anna did not have any children. Elkanah was worried and decided to understand why Hannah was so upset. Finally, one year, Hannah rose from the table and began to pray to God. She cried many tears. She begged God to notice that she had no children. Hannah pleaded with God to give her a son. She promised to commit the child to God for all of his life, and she even promised if she had a son, she would never cut his hair. While Hannah was praying, Eli the priest was watching her. He could see her lips moving, but he could not hear any words. Hannah told him that she was praying to God, and she explained to Eli that she was brokenhearted, and she had been talking to God about her sadness. Eli understood and said to Hannah, Go in peace. May God grant your request. Hannah felt better, ate, and went back home. After some time, there was great news. Hannah was going to have a baby. When the Lord, when the baby boy was born, she named him Samuel because she had asked him from the Lord. When it came for Elkanah to take his family to the yearly sacrifice and worship, Hannah and Samuel stayed home. When the child was old enough, Hannah said she would take Samuel to Shiloh and dedicate him to the Lord. The time came for Hannah to take Samuel to the tabernacle. She brought an offering to God and then brought Samuel to Eli the priest. Hannah reminded him she was the woman who stood beside him praying to God. Hannah told Eli she prayed for his son, and God gave her what he asked for. Hannah dedicated Samuel to serve God. So in this story, um, a woman named Hannah did not have a baby, and that was all she wanted in life was to have a baby. So she prayed to God, and she asked God, to give me, a, if you give me a baby, I will dedicate him to you, and he will serve you for the rest of his life. And so that's exactly what God did. He was faithful to her like he always is and decided to give her the baby and it was a little baby boy and she ended up naming him Samuel. So when she prayed to God to give her a son, she promised that she would commit her son to serve God. And Eli, who was the priest, did not hear Hannah's prayer and he wasn't sure what she was doing or what she was saying. So she had explained to him that she was praying to God and that she was pleading with him because that's all she wanted um, was to have a baby and it made her really upset that she wasn't able to have one. So um, how did God answer how did God answer Hannah's prayer? Um, so she had a son and then she named him Samuel. And how did Aunt Hannah keep her promise to God? So she brought Samuel to Eli at the temple and she dedicated him just like she said she would. And that is an important part to remember through prayer is that God is always listening to us and God wants to make us happy. But by doing that and everything else, when you are given whatever you ask for, when she asked for a baby, she worked and worked and worked and did everything she could in order to do things God's way. And it's super important to remember that, that even though God's giving us what we want, we still have to give glory to him and thank him and make sure that no matter what, at the end of the day, everything is being given to him because He's in control, and he's the only one that can give us everything we want. And sometimes we're not going to get everything we pray for, but usually we're going to get something a lot better because God knows way better. So I hope you guys learned a little bit from Hannah and how important prayer is and how powerful it is. And by talking to God and having that relationship with him, you can have um, a lot of happiness in life, and that's what Hannah gained. So I hope you guys have an awesome week. I hope to see you guys here at church very soon. Don't forget we're doing um, children's ministry. We are started it back up. Just make sure that because of everything going on and all the restrictions to RSVP through Eventbrite, and it'll be on the Facebook page. And I hope you guys see you next week.